Hi, it's Karen Thaxton from CopywritingCourse.com and MarketingWords.com. I've gotten so many questions lately about landing pages that I decided to do a little mini-series, if you will, about landing pages and how to create ones that convert very well. Of course, we're going to be taking this primarily from a copy perspective, a content perspective, but I'm going to include all the information that you need to know in order to get up and going with your landing pages. This video, I want to cover the basics of landing pages, and I have my notes here, so if you see me glancing down, it's because I don't want to forget to tell you all the information that I have for you in this first video in the series. The first thing that I want to tell you may come as a surprise, and that is a landing page is not automatically your home page. Does that surprise you? A lot of people look at me like you're kidding me. They assume that the, pay, that the term landing page and home page are interchangeable, and they are not. As a matter of fact, most of the time you do not want your home page to be your landing page. There are just a handful of times where that would be something that you'd want to do. Nine times out of ten, you don't. So what is a landing page? A landing page is simply any page on any website that the person lands on after they click from a trigger mechanism. Now what's a trigger mechanism? Whatever sends them to a landing page. So if you start your campaign with an email, for example, the link in the email may send somebody to a page on your website. You would want it to be a certain page on your website, probably not your home page. If you uh, were running AdWords ads, if you were running Facebook ads or sponsored tweets or anything like that, you would send people to a landing page. You're not going to convert people directly from the ad. You have to send them someplace else. So wherever they land would be the landing page. It could be a page on someone else's website. If you're doing affiliate marketing, for example, then when you send out an email to people or you run a Facebook ad about this particular affiliate product, you're going to send them to a landing page on the affiliate website so they can find out about that product or that service. So landing pages can even be pages that are not on one of your websites. It needs to be as specific as possible. And it also needs to have really great flow and cohesion from the trigger mechanism, the message in the trigger, to the message on the landing page. It needs to work together very clearly. You will get much higher conversions if you have an email or a PPC ad or a video. You could be doing a video and send somebody off to a landing page. Whatever it is that you start with, whatever that trigger is that gets them to click to the landing page, needs to be in alignment with the message on the landing page itself. And here's what I mean by that. You can have a PPC ad, a pay-per-click ad, that advertises... What's a good example off the top of my head? Um, something to do with digesting protein and low-carb diets because low-carb dieters eat a lot of protein. Protein is extremely hard to digest in the human body. So there are supplements out there that help to digest that protein and make its benefits more readily available while it's getting rid of a lot of the danger of that product, that meat sitting in the person's system for day after day after day and causing health issues. There are supplements that do that. One of them is uh, something that I take, actually, which is why I'm using this as an example. It's at KiwiSupplement.com. If you go to that page, and we'll use it as our example, when you land on the product page itself, it's not going to say anything about 
Kiwi being an excellent way to help break down protein in the human body so it doesn't cause health issues. There is, however, in that segment, uh, I think it's a more information button. And if you drop down that menu, you see something that says the protein blockade or the protein myth, something about that. If I were to do a campaign specifically to low-carb dieters, those living a low-carb lifestyle, I would never use that first product page as the landing page because it doesn't address the specific target customer's needs or desires. What I would do would be create a link to the protein blockade or whatever the name of that particular page within that product area and I would send them to that because it's what's going to speak to low-carb dieters. Now if I have uh, PPC ads or emails or something else that I'm marketing and I want to speak to people who are interested in general overall health, in better digestion, and all the benefits that come with that, increased immune system and, and all the other things, supplements working better, medicine working better, what have you, then it's fine to send them to that first page of the KiwiSupplement.com site. But you have to make it extremely specific. To send low carbers to that first page is going to confuse them because it doesn't address anything that they're interested in. So you have to have extremely close alignment between your trigger message and between the landing page copy itself. Now, what are you going to do with the actual text on the page? we get to headlines and body copy and calls to action and all of this other information and sometimes people freeze up they don't know exactly what to do and inevitably I will get people that say I need a really catchy headline I need a really clever twist to put on this page actually what works better is clarity People are moving at the speed of light, and nine times out of ten, they don't have time to sit there and try to figure out what did she mean by that. When you put some sort of, of joke or some slogan up there, it has to be crystal clear to work at its best. And that's what will help people move through the sales funnel on your landing page faster and more effectively than if you try to get cute or clever or something to that effect. So keep all the information real. What you can focus on are benefits. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard that a million times over by now, and maybe it's not the sexiest thing in the world to say, and it may be something that you do hear over and over, but it works. People want to know what's in it for them. And when they understand, just like the example with the KiwiSupplement.com page, when they can see precisely how it will improve their life, it will make things easier, it will help them get things done faster, it will give them better health or super strength or whatever it is that you're promoting, then they connect with it better. The copy works faster because it's clear and it's full of things that are interesting to your particular target customers. So from your headline to your body copy all the way down to the call to action, you need to incorporate things that are of interest to your target customers. Now this means that they may have ideas that you don't have. You don't want to tell them what you want to say. You want to tell them what is interesting and applicable to them. So make sure that you are working from your customer's perspective. Don't create a landing page about your product or service. Create a landing page for your site visitors and it will work much better. In addition to this, something else that's very basic to landing pages that you don't want to forget is to build trust. Now, you can do that in a number of different ways. Videos are one way. You can have a video on your landing page that's a minute or two. You don't want it to be really long usually. Again, there are exceptions to every rule. But most of the time, you just want to be able to give a little bit of information. Again, people move at the speed of light. 
usually they're not going to have the patience to sit there and watch a 10, 15, 20 minute video when they're on a landing page trying to get something accomplished. Testimonials work well. Icons for uh, secure ordering or icons for awards that you've won. Those can be displayed on the landing page itself. Anything that promotes trust and value and safety and security would be good to include on your landing page. And that won't take up any more copy. You can just put those symbols up on your your web page, your landing page, and they will speak volumes to people because they'll recognize the importance of those. With your call to action, whatever you want your visitors to do, subscribe, register, make a purchase, maybe the landing page is just to introduce them to some of the information about your product or service and then you want them to click to get more information. Whatever it is, you need to make the call to action strong, clear, and obvious. Do not hide your call to action. You usually don't want it to just be text. You want to incorporate some eye-catching symbol. You want to do that using a color that completely stands out from the rest of your design elements. If you have a web page that's blue and green and yellow, maybe you want your call to action and your buttons and things of that nature to be bright orange or bright red or something else that will absolutely leap off the page. Nothing else you do through the course of that landing page will matter much if you don't get your visitors to take the action that you're trying to get them to take. And in order to do that, you don't want to make them search all over the place to figure out what to do. They simply won't do it. They'll get frustrated and leave. So make those call to actions clear and obvious so that your visitors don't have to struggle to take action. In future videos about landing pages, I'm going to go over a lot of this information in more detail, step by step by step. So do search YouTube and the Marketing Words copywriting blog for the rest of the videos. If you will, I ask that you please subscribe to the YouTube channel for Marketing Words and you'll get notices when the videos are posted. And you can also go over to marketingwords.com forward slash blog and sign up in the upper right hand corner for the weekly newsletter. In addition to great videos like this, which we do from time to time, we also provide a lot of excellent information about SEO, about conversions, and about different types of copywriting. So all the things you need to make your website successful. That goes out usually once a week or so. You also will get a lot of other wonderful information when you subscribe. So I encourage you to go over to marketingwords.com forward slash blog and do that right now. This is Karen Thaxton with marketingwords.com and copywritingcourse.com and I'll see you next time.